Recipes for Technical Trading Success in Cook's Kitchen. Ready to learn how NVIDIA can go to a $2 trillion valuation? That's what we're going to talk about today. So I just wrote an article yesterday, it's June 20th, um, about the NVIDIA valuation hysteria. And uh, so here is the post I put on Twitter. Many investors got left behind worrying about valuations in the rear view mirror. So I, I invite you to take a look at the sales growth now after the world realized the power of high performance computing, massively parallel architectures in DGX nodes. So we're going to talk about what the DG, DGX box is. Um, if you want to access that article, I'll also link to it. Uh, I'll put the article link in this video if you're watching on YouTube. But here's the article on Zax.com. It's, it's my bold a day feature. And, you know, I, I talk about everybody up in arms that NVIDIA was trading at 100 PE or even a 200 PE. And, and, the, and the way that people got to a 200 PE is if they looked at fully diluted 12-month trailing earnings of $2.19. That's how they got to a 200 PE. But none of that matters when you understand what just happened with the sales growth once Wall Street caught on to what was going to happen in terms of demand for these DGX boxes. So um, I, I spent some time going over the, that whole valuation question in this article I referenced the thing I wrote on chat at GPT in March um, and and why I've been an NVIDIA bull for six years, um, you know, based on what they're creating. So you can, you can uh, access that article. You find it on Twitter at Kevin B. Cook, or uh, I will link to it on YouTube. So let me... Uh, to understand what a DGX box is and how corporations and company universities, research institutes stack these things together in in super pods for you know super high performance computing like Tesla did. You know Tesla uh, a few years ago, Nvidia built a supercomputer for for Tesla for Elon Musk that has uh, fifty seven hundred GPUs in it. <laughs> and uh, uh, can uh, can do 1.8 exaflops of computing power. I'll explain what that is in a minute. I want to just show you the evolution just in the past two years, past two or three years, of, of what's happened here with NVIDIA tools, basically. The, 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 the DGX box is a, is a workhorse for machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence. So I did this piece uh, about two years ago called AI Dreams and Reality. And I want to show you some slides from that just to so we can wrap our heads around the, uh, the, the TAM. TAM is Total Addressable Market. So in that video from two years ago, AI Dreams and Reality, I referenced research from McKinsey Global, and this was from 2018, where they where this is where this 15 trillion annual impact comes from, 15 trillion annual impact on GDP from AI. It comes from McKinsey, and uh, so I just wanted you to see that. You can watch the video, and and then I go over their scatter plot of the industries that are most impacted. But here's where you start to get into these like. Jensen Wong, the CEO of NVIDIA, he's very conservative. Just last year, he was talking about a $600 billion total addressable market for NVIDIA and about $300 billion for hardware, $300 billion for software because, you know, the, the NVIDIA innovation is the CUDA stack. CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture, which is hard, a hardware and software stack. So that is their key offering, and and he's just very conservatively just talking about a, a six hundred billion TAM, but really they they own the space. So when you think about um, the AI marketplace and its impact growing into the trillions, 
NVIDIA will be the, the top beneficiary. Let me see if there's some other slides I wanted to show you from this. Um, I, in the video, so these are the slides again that are in the video. I do a glossary of, of machine learning, deep learning, AI terminology, neural networks, nodes, weights, deep learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning. Uh, I talk about my 2017 pieces on uh, Google DeepMind, DeepStack, you know, how deep learning cracked Go and then Texas Hold'em. I also show a two or three minute video clip of how a neural network works. And so if you don't know how artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning, deep learning work, um, you want to watch that video, and I show this two-minute clip from uh, Simple Learn. They do a great job, one of the best I, I saw two years ago, and maybe there are better now, but they did a really good job in just two or three minutes of explaining how a neural network works. Basically, it's an artificial neural network. We modeled it on the human brain, but you know they explain how um, you know it's basically a, a linear reg regression model used to make predictions, but it, you know it's about the, the layers and the nodes and the weights that get assigned. So this is where probability comes in. So there's, you know, there's these weights of connections between the nodes. Um, and then you have a, a bias or a threshold you can ask the neural network to cross as it learns, especially if it's a, if it's unsupervised learning and it's using deep learning inference, then uh, you want to give it a threshold to cross. So, and, and there are many different types of networks, you know, uh, there, there's feed forward, convolutional, um, and these, these tools, this is what NVIDIA creates with the CUDA stack in a DGX box. So we're going to look at what a DGX box is, because that, that's what I think, like, if, forget the valuation, price to earnings, price to sales, forget all that, like, let's just learn about what is in demand with these, these DGX boxes that that hold eight of these fantastic GPU cards. Uh, currently, the the Ampere and the uh, and and soon the Hopper network. So, all right. So let's. Uh, you may have seen this article from uh, from Reuters just the other day about an uh, underground market for uh, <laughs> for Nvidia's chips. This is interesting because. The, the Ampere, the A100, sells for $10,000, but they're going on the black market in China for twice that, um, which is just kind of fun to see. I mean, it's not going to last forever, but this is the demand for these high-powered chips. Okay, so what what is a DGX box? Uh, I'm going to go to a uh, an NVIDIA partner, Lambda Labs. Uh, they have, um, you know, they're basically a, a high-tech consultant. That is going to help you build your your machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence uh, system with using NVIDIA tools like a, D a DGX. So what you're looking at here is several DGX boxes stacked. Imagine so when I talked about the um, the Tesla supercomputer that NVIDIA built for them having 5,700 GPUs, each one of these boxes has eight GPUs in it. So, so you're talking about, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of these DGX boxes to build a supercomputer, uh, like Tesla has, you know, it all depends on, on which card it is. It, um, well, that's the other thing I wanted to show you. I thought, I, I, I guess I missed it in, uh, in here. I wanted to show you just, just for a flashback, what did the old cards do? So this is back, this is from December of 2017. This was the Tesla Volta card. They called it Tesla at the time. Just uh, and, and Nvidia has since dropped the Tesla brand name usage um, because of the prominence of Tesla the car maker. But uh, it, it was known as, as Tesla Volta. It basically it was 21 billion transistors in the space of a shoebox. Now, <laughs> the, 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 the next generations, uh, you know, we, we've been through Turing for, for video games, and then now uh, uh, Ampere, and we're coming into Hopper here. These things have between 50 billion and 80 billion transistors on a card that can fit in a shoebox, basically. So, you know, that's, that's the evolution of this. Uh, oh, 
flops uh, in the video. You can also get uh, reacquaint yourself with what a flop is, a floating point operation per second. So an exaflop is one quintillion with 18 zeros behind it. Um, and, you know, that's where that's where it ranks. So so what you're going to hear a lot about, though, in a DGX box is petaflops. So petaflops is, uh, uh, you know, 15 zeros. Um, and, uh, but when you stack the G, the DGX boxes together, that's where you get to exaflops. All right. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. All right. So let's take a look at, uh, you know, I, sometimes I'll, I'll call it a cube just for short. It's not really a cube. It's more like a, a, a cube stretch tri uh, rectangle, right? It's, uh, it's deeper, uh, than it is wide, but this is basically what they look like in your talk. And I call it a two foot cube, but you know. I mean, the latest ones are, you know, it's it's uh, f uh, 500 millimeters deep. Um, you know, s some of them are almost 500 millimeters tall and, you know, maybe 250 millimeters across. Um, but so you stack these together and that's where you get a super pod. So we're going to take a look at that and we're going to use a resource. Uh, another NVIDIA partner is run. AI. And so they did this breakdown of this article of the generations of the DGX boxes. And, you know, they explained basically, you know, what is a DGX box? Um, uh, they can do between one and five petaflops in, in one system. But again, corporations, research institutions, et cetera, they want to stack these together. So in the first generation, you had the, this is the Tesla Volta I talked about. You had eight of those, uh, had a 256 gigabytes of uh, GPU memory. And you can read more about the description. I'll put this link in the article too, so you can find it. But uh, you, you can see the you can see the URL right there too. So uh, software, obviously first generation was all about the CUDA toolkit. CUDA again stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture. So here's the second generation. They went, they, they did 16 Tesla Volta cards <laughs> for uh, 512 gigabytes of memory. But then, you know, the, the cards keep getting more advanced and more powerful. Uh, so now in the third generation D DGX server, you're up, you're using eight A100, A, A is for Ampere, um, GPUs and You've got, uh, depending on the model, you've got a choice of memory, uh, you know, going up to 640 gigabytes of GPU memory. About the hardware arch architecture, so you can read all about this. So here's a workstation, which is like a scaled down version. Um, it only has four A100 GPUs. Remember those, those cards, those A100 GPUs are 10 grand a piece right now selling on the black market in China for 20 grand. All right, now let's talk about the SuperPod. This is the multi-node DGX system. So um, here, when you stack, so, so here, here it is. SuperPod can support up to 140 DGX systems. So picture 140 of these stacked together. This is where, this is why Tesla, you know, has a supercomputer with 5,700 GPUs and why more corporations want this, right? So this is what happened with chat GPT. It, it lit a fire, lit a bonfire basically for AI and for these GPU systems. Um, now every corporation realizes, oh my gosh, we need to have 10, a hundred, 500 of these DGX boxes to stack together, uh, to be able to crunch the data that we want to. And so in, in a super pod that, uh, run AI can build, uh, it'll have 140 boxes doing a hundred to 700 petaflops. All right. I think that's all I wanted to show you there. So, uh, good stuff to learn about here to understand when you understand what a DGX box is. Oh, but maybe I should, maybe I should tell you how much they cost. So you understand the sales growth. So when I first started talking about, uh, the, the powerhouse, the workhorse of the, of the DGX, um, they, let's say in 2018, they were, they still, you could get one for $68,000. Um, 
And, uh, you know, the, uh, Jensen Wong made a joke that summer when he did a presentation. I think it was at Gamescom in Cologne, Germany. He's like, um, he, he, did a, he did an infomercial, you know, today only, special. You can get your own supercomputer for just $68,000. Or, you know, it was something like uh, uh, 10,000 payments of $68 or something like that. So he was having some fun there. Uh, but now you can't buy one of these one of these DGX boxes for less than a hundred thousand, especially if it has um, eight A one hundred chips in it, because eight A one hundred chips that would cost eighty thousand by itself, um, and and you're not getting all the infrastructure uh, support and, and the and the uh, CUDA applications. So um, I've seen them priced upwards of a hundred and fifty thousand each. So imagine. Uh, America's top 100 corporations wanting to buy 100 each of these. And you see why the sales growth has ramped for NVIDIA from, you know, this year was supposed to be 30 billion. Now it's going to be 42 billion. Uh, next year was supposed to be 37 billion. Now it's going to be 54 billion. These are the, this is how much the estimates have ramped the sales estimates for NVIDIA. And, um, you know, so that's why I try and re explain the valuation. Let me see if there's anything else I wanted to show you here. Um, oh, here was a piece, a link to it. Um, uh, in in 2018, after I mentioned uh, uh, Jensen Wong, CEO, appearing at Gamescom, Gamescom, I think is what they call it, the, the big gaming conference in Cologne, Germany, in August of 2018, I was like, I don't think people understand that it's NVIDIA gaming graphics, you know, what the, the R&D they do for GPUs to do ray tracing and rasterization, which are the, you know, super real-time CGI in your, in your gaming, that that is the R&D that fuels their engineers in experimenting with AI. And so that's why I said, who cares? NVIDIA makes great gaming graphics. And I say that because I'm not a gamer, but I still understood why it made a difference. So I'll link to that article as well. Um, I think I covered everything I wanted to, but uh, and, and all the resources, if you're watching on YouTube, look down below the description. There'll be a link to the to the article version on Zach.com where I'll have all these links. All right. Uh, so this is this is my argument for NVIDIA is going to go to a two trillion valuation probably in the next 12 to 18 months easily just based on the demand for these workhorses and this stack, the CUDA stack of hardware and software. All right, talk to you soon.